In this tutorial, we will be focusing on visible light. So let's talk about how you actually see what you see. The sun delivers all the colors of light, and when they hit your eyes at once, your brain interprets that as white. However, objects absorb different wavelengths of light and reflect others. This picture shows you different wavelengths of visible light. Notice that as the frequency increases, the wavelength decreases. Red light is a low frequency wave and therefore is a low energy wave. Blue light has a higher frequency and also is higher energy. However, both of them travel at the same speed, the speed of light. After you finish this tutorial, remember to check out the Why the Sky is Blue video on Schoology to hear more about this. When light hits an object, one of four things can happen. It can pass straight through, it can bounce back at the same angle it came in, it can bounce back at a new angle, or the object can take it in like a sponge. Let's go through each one. When a wave goes straight through an object, we say that it has been transmitted. When a wave bounces back at the same angle, but inverted, we say that it has been reflected. When a wave bounces back at a new angle, but inverted, we say that it has been refracted. Finally, when a wave hits an object and that object takes it in, we say that it has been absorbed. The light energy stays in the object and is used to do different things. Most commonly, it will heat the object up by making the particles move faster. Reflection and absorption of light can be used to explain why different objects appear to have different colors. For example, this flower has pinkish petals, a yellow center, and green leaves and a stem. Why is that? Well, it's because all of the colors of light are hitting those three parts of the flower, but each part is absorbing and reflecting different frequencies of light. The yellow center is absorbing red, orange, green, blue, and violet light waves. It is reflecting yellow light waves. These yellow light waves are what reaches your eye. The color of an object is the color of the light it's reflecting. Black objects reflect no light, so you see no color. White objects reflect all the colors of light, which makes whiteness. For your next project, you will be working with these four terms. Review them and try to think of or research examples of each way light is able to interact with different objects. R A N D O M P A N D A Random Panda! Random Panda.